G'day everybody, it's Kim here from Kim's Homestead. How are you today? All well, I hope. Well, today I've got a video for you of a tour of the old homestead. I hope you enjoy. Slow. Hey. back Let's go on to the new place. That in there is just a toilet. Laundry cupboards. Here's the old pantry.
gonna hang up some shed keys. Oh, where I keep the keys. Here's my old kitchen. Certainly much bigger than my kitchen I have now. Here's my beautiful spice rack. That's all for my display pieces that I have, my antique dinner set. And lounge room, you say, yes, yeah, it's so big, yes, it's an awful lot to clean, and it's even more to heat or to cool. Now, into the bedroom, and yes, only one bedroom. Oh, but it's a big bedroom. Turn the light on. See, it's such a big bedroom. Once again, such a big place to heat or cool. When you don't have the ability anymore, it's a lot. And this is my walk-in cupboard, wardrobe, come third pantry. <laughs> and there's more space there. And of course, a bathroom. I am going to miss this bathroom. I won't miss that. But, such a big bathroom. And the one I've got now is pretty tiny. Right. So let's go outside around the rest of the yard. And there is the side patio. And that's where the cat cage was outside my bedroom door. They could come out and play. That's where we cut out the big gum tree. That's my tropical garden over there. Okay, so we're now out at the back door and heading down. My mulberry tree, where I get all my mulberries from. I've still got about 10 bags in the freezer. 
So I think I'll be right for mulberries for a little while. Still got a few things there to pick up, I see. Here's our little fishy pond that Barney loved to sit here and see if he can catch all the fishies. Some great big fish in there now. No, I'm not taking them with me. I've decided on that. And this here is where the um, passion fruit was, which I had uh, my handyman friend come around and take it all out. And here's part of the garden. That hot weather really knocked these orange trees. They'll probably die. And the old chook pen. Oh, I've still got some bags of stuff in here to collect. I see. Here's my potting station where I potted up many, many, many thousands of vegetables. And my little garden shed. There's my potato patch through there. There'll be heaps of potatoes coming up soon. And here's my veggie patch. In through here. I've got about 14 wicking beds here. Won't be anything like that at the new place. And here's my little orchard right next to the chook pen the chooks used to love coming in here and cleaning it all up there's still fruit hanging on the trees they will be full of um, fruit fly now not worth picking and that is a a uh, two bedroom flat and carport and here's where I would 
quite often just wash the veggies that I brought out of the veggie garden. Here is my outdoor kitchen come shed. And the other one's just the same without the stove. So there we go. And there is the old homestead. And yes, I've got a helper over shoveling up some stuff at the moment. So that's what you can hear in the background. I tell you what, where I'm going now, there's none of those trucks and no planes. It is very, very, very quiet. It's absolutely beautiful. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the old homestead. As you see, it was a very big place to try and keep up. But life is and you've got to move on. And I'm glad I did. Um, the new homestead is quite different from the old one. A lot less space, of course. So trying to find room for everything has been a real challenge. But I'll get there. Anyway, um, sorry about all the camera work. Um, I'm still not very good at this sort of thing. But maybe I'll get there too. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed a tour of the old homestead and you could see um, what I was working with. Anyway, I hope you liked this video and if you did, consider giving me a thumbs up. That would be very much appreciated. And if you like the videos and what's to come, which there will be a lot, um, please think about subscribing. That would be absolutely wonderful. Anyway, I will catch you again next week with a tour of the new homestead. All right, bye for now.